um, so Fred, why don't you tell me about these fabulous tables? I see you've got all kinds of them. This is a DNM table. A DNN table. DNM. DNM. Yeah. Okay. And we're here in Los Angeles. Uh huh. How much do you want for it? I want 750. So it's about 1928, uh, 29 or so. 1930s. Oh, in the 30s. Yeah, in the 30s. Okay. And then what about this one? What's the story this of this one? This one here. Uh, this is um, Hispano Moresque. Hispano Moresque. Yeah. So I see this one is marked 450. Is this from the 30s as well? This is 30s as well, and it's even though it's bigger and everything, it's got damage. See, this has all been painted in. Oh, I see. And it's got several areas where it's got I see. chips and cracks, and somebody repaired it. I see. So this one is for this one's 750. Is that because it's unusual? I don't see too many of these kind of tables with a glass top and a and a tile. Um, here, there. Yeah, they're, they're normally like this here. Yeah. So this is a, a way more unusual table. Hmm. So whenever, whenever they're taller like this, uh -huh. or, or different like that, you get more money than some basic square table. I would say. But anything in iron is always desirable as opposed to wood. So they can't steal it. Is that it? Nice and nice and heavy. Yeah. There's like there's like twice the artwork with it. You know, a, 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 a base that's made out of iron. Uh huh. Okay. As opposed to a manufactured piece of wood. I see. Yeah. So. Well, great. Okay, um, I would like to get a shot of...